on Christmas Day when I got a call from my neighbor that my house, I mean, their house was flooding and the water was coming from my house. And I'm like, what are you saying? Good morning, if you're close to where I am. Good afternoon, wherever you are and good evening. Hello to my beautiful, amazing, sweet team members. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy New Year to you all. It may be a little late because I know today's the end of January and I should have done this the 1st of January, but better late than never. Um, I had a video because y'all know January 1st is World King K Day. So I had a video for Facebook, but I couldn't share it because I was locked out of my account because they needed me to confirm my location. And it was impossible because it seemed whenever I go to Ghana, I encounter this issue. And so tag Facebook. I want to know if you live in the U.S., and you go on vacation does it mean you can share videos while on vacation because at times i'll get demonetized or blocked from posting so once i was blocked from posting i just did not want to try to do anything that will get me um demonetized so i just left it alone and usually because this is how we make our money we post videos when you guys enjoy and share that's how we make our money so when you're unable to post any videos then you don't make any money so for the past month i haven't been able to make any money on facebook and usually that makes a content creator worried stressed out and everything i've been stressed out um so december 2021 i was in ghana so i rang in the new year in Ghana and then while I was there my mom fell so she was you know a little sick thank God my son was able to pick her up and take her to the ER because my brother and I were both in Ghana while she was here and when I got back she was still kind of out of it so we went to the ER a couple of times I remember one early morning I had to go pick her up and take her to the ER and then bring her back I'll insert where I was putting her back in bed and I decided to just film that clip because so much went on um, uh, fast forward to April she had surgery and the surgery went well and everything and she came home but then she wasn't feeling well we went back she got admitted for like a week because she was not breathing well and everything and then she got better with that and then she came home and then she got an infection and then she went back for about 10 days and then she came home with the IV infusion and stuff that we all had to help her. Now my brother's a doctor so it comes easy for him. I'm a medical assistant so it comes easy for me but we also had to teach our kids to help do it just in case I was in there and my brother was in there as well so we went through all that it took my mom about six months to get better now i'll rewind to when she got covid that also scared us so much and she's been looking forward to her 65th birthday party thank god this december we all went to ghana we gave her her party we gave her a few surprises and i hope she's happy with it i'm so happy that we were able to do that for her. Now, going to Ghana in December with a family of five cost a whole lot of money, but my brother did help, so I want to thank him for that. My husband also did a lot to help because it cost, for us, we spent over $15,000 for plane tickets just to get to Ghana. So. All the help that we had was super amazing. Dr. Ajiti, thank you so much for the love and all the help. Like, I feel like I have the best brother in the world. Okay, Doc, I love you. I also have the best husband. And baby, I love you so much. Thank you for the love and support. Um, And saying that, you know, when you take trips like this and have, you know, do something like this for your mom, which I will have a sit down and let you know why she deserves it so much. She's been a single mom. She helped my brother through medical school. She helped me become who I am today. 
so she's done so much for us so that was our own little way of saying thank you and i pray that god will give us the strength to do more for her because she's still single and searching so hopefully she finds that mr right very soon and enjoys the rest of her life with a good companion you know now my issues started on christmas day when i got a call from my neighbor that my house i mean their house was flooding and the water was coming from my house and i'm like what are you saying come to find out the temperature dropped and somehow our pipes busted not somehow according to the plumber i had a new neighbor who was renovating their house and their water wasn't working and being who i am i just gave them my water through the hose and they used it but when they were done i was getting ready to travel i wasn't there and so there was a little bit of water left in the pipes and when it went below temperature we got minus here but i was in ghana enjoying the warmth so i can't complain but when it went below like negative temperature my pipes froze well the the whatever water was left from me lending my neighbor my hose froze and then it just climbed into my walls and busted in two places so i had water all over my house my house was flooded i was in ghana thousands and thousands of miles away i didn't know what to do luckily my neighbor had my key they came in to try to shut the pipes but it wasn't that it was my water holes because initially we didn't know what was happening my stepson rushed over here and then i remembered i had another shut off in my bedroom so he came upstairs and shut it off for me and then that stopped so i had to try to get in contact with my insurance while i was in ghana they needed so much that my stepson couldn't provide because he doesn't live here with us and even if he did these are documents to our house that he wouldn't know where it was so it was taking us a while to get anything done my husband my kids we were all in ghana eventually my husband came got a plumber got people to look at the damage and everybody wanted the approval from the insurance before they would start any work because the damages were so much and i just renovated my house a year and a half ago so i felt like you know we saved up the money but the people that were working they didn't do a good job and then they left the work they didn't finish and this january is actually uh, uh a year since he said that his daughter was sick in jamaica eric bell or dan roy bell who did my house his son or no his daughter was sick in jamaica so he had to go he left and never came back to finish my work now mind you he's supposed to be a family friend i usually don't put these things out but I paid him so much money I feel like I've spent every dime that I have fixing up my house so I can have a good living environment and he didn't finish he still hadn't finished but life goes on Eric okay and so once the house flooded and everything I was like okay I just did my house although it's not even done I did something, you know. I worked so hard and I deserve to live in a nice place. I may not be able to afford a big mansion, but wherever I live is my own mansion. So I have to make it good and beautiful for me. And now it's flooded. So my husband comes back. He did all that he could. I come back. I finish it up quickly, giving the insurance whatever they need. And once they opened up the walls, we have so much going on, but they're trying to, you know how insurances work. I think insurances are like, they get the most. You pay, 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 but once you have a problem, they're quick to find faults with what you've done or didn't do and not to pay. So I'm still waiting for them to give me a final decision 
because I have over maybe over $30,000 worth of damage in my house. And if the insurance doesn't cover it, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I was even telling my husband, I said, we've spent all our money. You know, we've even dug into our savings and we, here we are with this problem. I said, maybe we could find a cheap carpet and just put it on the bare floor and live until we're able to make some money. Long story short, that's what I'm going through. And it's, it's a lot. I mean, as they're opening up the walls, I'm over here like, oh my gosh, I don't even remember the colors. I love green. So my house is like green. And now I'm regretting using green because I'm like, if I used white, when it's time to paint, I would have just bought another white paint and it would have been okay now i have to try to match the colors and do all sort of things because they're cutting my whole sheets raw to check for mold and other stuff and yes they found some but we didn't get sick you know and i felt like the mold was there before the water because it's just so much of it and how we were living here and not getting sick it's just god it's just god my kids didn't get sick. I didn't get sick. And so it's it's been crazy. And to, for my vlogging channel, I've just been off because I've been dealing with real life crisis that I wasn't so comfortable sharing. It's my real life. And so I couldn't upload videos depicting that I was fine and I was happy and i wasn't so i know a lot of people always say god bless you god bless you i'm blessed i'm alive my husband is alive we are all doing well we entered 2023 even with the struggles and i thank god but this is the reason why you all have not seen me i'm not in the right frame of mind to post any videos but i'm trying and Starting tomorrow, I'll try my best to post more. And I hope that you guys will tune in to watch and share. Please share and um, follow me if you're not following me. Like, comment. I love to read your comments. Positive comments, that is. And I'm going to be okay. I'm a fighter. You know, I, I, I've... I've struggled all through my life. I'm still going through the struggles, but who is not? Everybody have some type of struggle that they're dealing with. You can help me by giving me stars, by giving me thanks. You can share my videos, watch, you know, however you can support your girl because I like, I don't know where to start. I am um, down and out and like, so, well, that is, that is what is going on. But I look at myself every day and I'm blessed. Like I was in Ghana. Imagine getting that call that your house is flooding on Christmas day and you can't even enjoy Christmas. And then you, you're like, okay everything is going to be okay. I didn't go out as much. I, I mean, if I say as much, like I do go out. I just, I'm not the type of person that goes out a lot. I didn't go out. I really didn't even want to grant any interviews. I'm so sorry if you reached out and I couldn't give you an interview, but that's because I was not in the right frame of mind to be happy. And I like to give off happiness i like to make other people happy so me not being happy it would have been hard for me to come on a program and act like i'm so happy when i'm not i'm back home as you saw with any pictures that i posted i'm going through it so much cleanup to do so much work to do just so much going on but god 
have been so good whenever people see me they think i look so good they think i'm so happy because yes i will show you happiness because i want you to be happy i don't want my struggles to bring you down i just want to thank everybody that reached out somebody made a post that where it's you tajele i'm here your girl is struggling but i'm here i'm here and i love you all i couldn't respond because i couldn't but now i'm gonna respond to you all i'll try to respond to as many comments because now i've been opened up i can now post i can now share and i can now make everybody happy even if i'm not happy your happiness my number one priority and that is what fulfills me i hope this year brings you all the joy that you wished for all the blessings that you wish for i wish everybody good health happiness riches whatever your heart desires is what i wish for you i love you all and from tomorrow you will be seeing brand new videos from me and even if it's a reshare please watch it again and share it for your girl i love you all and i'll see you tomorrow Sweet